Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Jumble Prism, an ID by Bram Cohen. And if you want to see how this puzzle turns, just skip to the end of the clip because I'm going to start with a long story behind, uh, that's behind this puzzle. It all started uh, in 2007, in August, when Bram and I and my wife Jose we were walking on the beach in Australia at uh, Gold Coast. And at that time Bram told me about his crazy idea of a twisty puzzle that jumbles and it's based on a triangular prism that is cut in a special way. Anyway, I had no clue what he was talking about. It was a puzzle with 11 pieces. Well, that's a very unusual number. But okay, uh, look uh, on your left uh, to see what he explained to me. It is a triangular prism and it has cuts that go like this. Another cut goes like that and like that. So there are in total six cuts and the whole thing should turn around like this. Well, as you can see, this is a prototype, my first design prototype by George. And you see that uh, I've made some very significant errors in the design. So it's, well, a, a complete mess. The first prototype just didn't work. Uh, one of the problems was that we had a, a wrong mechanism and there was not enough space. So my second attempt was the pregnant prism. This name was uh, thought of by George Miller. And it actually works. It's the same idea uh, as Bram's. It has the symmetry of a triangular prism. And it turns like this. Well, you can see on the other YouTube uh, clip in more detail. But this uh, thing acts uh, very bandaged because it... Um, it has some overhangs, the pieces overhang which block some other rotations. So now we get finally to the jumble prism. Jumble prism uh, is exactly the same concept. You see it has threefold symmetry around this axis and mirror symmetry. And it has six centers, one, two, three, four, five, six. And the puzzle turns around the center like this. And now here we have one turn and as you can see you can do another turn without uh, the overlap uh, problem. So this puzzle uh, it's the true implementation of Bram's original ID. I think it's very complicated uh, the way it jumbles all the turns are non-integer uh, parts of uh, 360 degrees. In other words uh, it's difficult, it's highly bandaged, but it's not. Um, well, I hope you can try it sometime. Uh, thank you for watching.